All right, we're back. I actually kind of got lost a little bit. For some reason, my orientation was a little bit off. And that's not what I wanted. Yep, I'm choosing that. And then I'm choosing that. It's really hard to hold this phone and not cover the speaker and mic. They're in the worst possible spots. So now we're going to go down here into the abyss. See if we can find any brown mushrooms. So we're going to go down here because it's a... Oh, this, I don't think this was the simple path. We'll do that later. I swore some of these had... Okay, we did not switch items. Okay, and this was blocked off. I don't think there's anything in there. see this. Let's make our way in and see what we got. And one more. And move. Put that there so we can see that's an exit. Put that in. But we got coal. That just keeps going. Okay, I don't like this. Yep, break it. Break it. Break it. No, I didn't jump. I wanted to place a torch. There we go. Yes, I'm well aware my food bar is a bit low. I'm going to have to wait for that to cure up. I'm going to start to feed a little bit. Not finding any other use, and a dead end. We like that just to keep the monster spawning at bay. there's some coal that we could possibly use, so that's not going to hurt. Let's just inventory up here and go with that. safer now. We still have that way down. Okay, no, I don't want to sneak. Okay, that is the way we want to go now. it is. I don't use the left or right handed rule when it comes to laying down torches. I do what's easiest and that's just make it pretty and make it safe. And a double torch indicates that the path leads to safety. Simple enough, isn't it? And this double torch, double torch indicates a hallway that goes to safety. And so far I'm not seeing what I'm trying to look for. Okay, so let's go here. Make a bunch of these. And I noticed the torch count stopped, so... And one crafting table too many, because the 
It used to just tell you you didn't have enough ingredients to do whatever. Now it just, you just start making stuff that you don't plan on. Alright, back down in the abyss we go. Might as well... Okay, that's not it. And we're randomly plopping torches. Yep. Take it. Just the way I can't remember. As we randomly hit objects. But that I remember. Now we want that one, really. One there there just to light it up a little better. over here, which won't be any longer. What if I'm not looking in the right places? I don't know. Well, we'll break this one because it'll help ultimately light that up a little better. And let's see what we got here. Just the one. there. I don't... That's fine. Really yep, let's move the player the way we want. That's right. This way. This way. Okay, towards this block that's got no current. And nothing there. Alright, that's a dead end. He's not completely dead. We got minerals we can grab if we need. Grab them if we need them. Go down here. Another dead end. Well, we're not finding anything. So, I'm just going to go... Looking around and grabbing some ores and stuff, and we'll come back after that. Well, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, while I was here at the village, now I gotta go and regain everything that I lost. Well, the good thing is, I'm far enough away from where I was. I'm not having to worry too much about the five-minute timer, meaning that I got five minutes to collect my stuff and 
or die. We're still okay in that department. Naturally. We're going to have to steal a couple of apples. Well, we'll steal a few. Anyway, I wanted to show you something, but then uh, I was on top of a beacon and I fell off it because I chose to pause the game at that point. And it didn't go the way it was supposed to. Anyway. Gotta grab some potatoes. We all know they don't exactly provide the biggest health benefit. Anyways, you can see here on the eastern side of the village that we have found, I've once again did a little literal trailblazing, and I have actually found stuff that. We can find pretty useful to help make that village make that village grow again. But of course, as soon as I started the recording, Kurt's black and deaf. So you can see I made quite a path, and we can't play with any of our little our little creepy crawly friends. And we were pretty close to where we were. Let's turn this way. Yeah, we're pretty close now. And you'll see the big beacon in a moment. As we slowly and surely get there. In fact, yeah, there's it's in the very center of your picture is the said beacon. And that's where we died. So let's go. And get on going. Get on going. We need to collect our stuff back. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff we don't want to lose. So we found this swamp which is how this whole thing was going to start. And you can kind of see way out there my stuff. In fact, let's come over here. And we're hitting things when we don't want to. There we go. That's everything. And let's just... Do this again. One, two, three, four, four. There we go. And a little inventory swapping here. That goes there. This goes there. And apparently, we haven't got everything yet because I had a lot more than that. stuff up. Definitely that. Right. That should be there. Oh, I still had the diamond pickaxe with me. Ooh, boy. What a stunt. That should be there. And I still haven't found my torches. We'll just take a quick look around. We're not going to spend a lot of time looking. Oh, we're picking up stuff. Okay, that torches aren't going to be the biggest of concerns. All right, let's continue where we left off here. Okay, this way is... Do we have our... Oh, we lost our axe too, but... Whatever. 
just look over to the front over there. And I'm just going to go around the back tree here. Yeah, this, this was not planned, obviously. So let's just look one more time. I... All right, I can't find them. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal, but one of the things I found, I actually found two of these giant brown mushrooms. And I think it is if you use an axe, you can actually get brown mushrooms from them. So we're gonna have to uh, gather more of that stuff. And here we are. All right, this can go. Right. And we'll just make a couple of those and place them here. We don't really need too many of them right now. We'll use this bench for a little bit of leverage for the time being. There's the X. Yeah, I got one. Book. And we cut. Gather up all these mushrooms and, yep, gather them. There you go. Yep, up. As I'm trying to steer, this thing is taking a whack at the ground. All right, yeah, it wasn't the most perfect thing, and yeah, I need to fix that. I need to fix that pointer. It doesn't look right at all. The way that uh, attempting to try to position yourself to make a pointer, I might just leave it. So, all right, we got what we need. Now it's a matter of making the potions, which I have the stand, as you've seen. I've also got the ingredients, which you have also seen. Now it's a matter of making a few of them up waiting for nighttime and looking for those zombie villagers to come a knocking which I'm sure now that I got everything and I start making all that stuff they will never appear ever again well you kind of get what I mean by that so we'll pick it up there look what we got oh we don't need you no you go away Hey, guess what? I got some stuff for you. I'm probably going to die doing this, but... Yep. Okay, you're going to go. You're going to go now. You're going to go now. Yep, we're going to run. Okay, I'm covering the speaker, which I didn't want to do. Okay, things are not going the way they're supposed to. We're supposed to throw the potion. We're not supposed to get me hurt. Oh, come on. Nope. Nope, this isn't working. Little runts. Can't do it with little runts. Has to be a big guy. Oh, well, we thought we had it, but of course not. The guy won't throw the potion fast enough. So, can't accept that as an answer. Now we just need a regular sized zombie villager where we have a chance to get away and be able to throw a potion at it. So much for that attempt. 
Uh, let me just move it. Okay, regular zombie. So much for that attempt. Well, you think I would learn my lesson, but... I saved my game way atop this Tabescus arrow, and if you don't know what that means, I named it after the comedian Tabescus, which I got the idea from, to make a tall pillar and an offshoot that points in the direction of home. Anyway, I was safely perched atop there when I quit my game, and just like last time when I restarted, I fell to my death. There seems to be an issue where you don't exactly start where you left off. And thus I died. So, anyway, we found this desert and a savanna. Problem is, foolish me, I still had my two potions, which one is still here. And I lost both of my golden apples, which have fallen into the abyss below. It is so deep I'll drown before I even... Before I even get to the bottom, it's not even worth it. So anyway, my timing is crap, so what I'm going to do is, if we want to play cooperation, or just get used to this really new boat mechanic, is I'm going to steer clear of... I'm just going to move away from this section so that... And we're magically turning. I had my fingers on the correct buttons, and, and uh, we're doing that again. Okay, this time let's go in the direction I'm actually pointing in. Now, I'm literally, I literally got my fingers on the buttons, and it's just doing whatever. All right, I think I'm far enough. Yeah, we got to do the rotate thing. Not really. Well, anyway, let's just get a frame of reference here. You can also see I made the top part out of wood because I ran out of cobble. All right, let's just turn a little more this way, go a little more this way. I want to try to eliminate as many chunks spawned as possible. I know that I'm coming close to that one where monsters could spawn, but I want to stay far enough away. We don't have to worry about that. And right about here it should be fine. Bang. Alright, let's turn this puppy around here. Boy, very touchy. Anyway. Timing sucked. Thought I'd bring you that update when we come back. The sun will be shining, and we will be exploring. Maybe there might be a desert temple to regain the gold. Hello. And to kill time, I was mining, and as you can see, well, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, you can right here. The, right there, the three. I'm touching, and it's blinking. And now I'm going to put the sword back in. is some recovery from the disaster of uh, losing everything. Now I'm hoping I did not get rid of my entry up here. No, I didn't. Good. And I was also thinking that perhaps we should have a cobblestone leg here. Just in case lightning were to strike the wooden one, because I ran out of cobble. So what I'm going to do now is search the desert and the savanna for villages and other monuments and what have not. But that is going to be a boring video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse it. And the adventure and the time lapse will start now.
Well, look what we found. We found a village. It's also getting late. So let's take this, put that there. And the sun's going down, so maybe we can make a home in this particular village. Which hopefully has surviving villagers. I don't think they do anything quite yet. Kind of like the villagers of old. It's just there. As you can see, there are villagers running amok. Alright, just like the other village, I'm going to plop a bed right there and sleep in it when we can. There we go. There, now we got a base away from home. Come away from home. Alright, let's make life a little easier for these people. I mean, and I know that would be the correct answer, but there you go. I don't think these people do anything. Nope, you just hit them. Nope. I was positive they said they did nothing, but I wanted to be sure. Have you been a bad villager? Is that way you're in the corner? Alright, looks like I got a job to do here. Let's make this one safe. Thing is, that's going to take quite a while. Okay, we've lit that one up, we've lit that up, we've lit that up. Okay, yep. Okay, I lit this one up. I think I started going backwards. Okay, yeah, I started there, and then I worked here. I turned myself around, I think. Yeah, because over here we got all sorts of buildings that we've done nothing with. We have all the different positions available, but I can't do anything with them yet. I think with a capital, well, duh, that ultimately they are going to do something with these. Church needs a lot of work. Yep, and okay. This is actually lit well enough. It's not the best, but it'll do its job. This is going to need work. One right there. And one. Not really where I wanted it, but. One, two, three, and four. And clear. I turned off auto jump, but it still auto jumps. It's a little nerve wracking when you run big edges like that. And we need to cover this up. Because we know they're just going to take the any moment they can and fall right into it. Okay, this looks kind of dark, so, yep. In we go. Light it up. Oh, that's an interesting thing right there.
And I think there was another one of these, and I never bothered to put a light on top of it, so nothing spawns there. Okay, so I got a job to do here, and it's going to take quite a while to accomplish. I think we found another house we haven't lit. What we have? Well, why have you got in my way? do that the other one. And I think we've already hit this one. Yes, we have. Okay, so I think this will be this particular episode. Uh, you know what? I think this would make a better looking... So hard to do it this way. And no, not the way I wanted. Yep, back to game. There you go. Alright, so I don't have all my armor, but, you know, I am at a point that I can say I've got a project to do, and I am going to be pushed around while starting that, and that'll end this particular episode. JoeJeff551 saying hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.